Good morning, everybody. Are you ready to learn today? Okay, so today we're going to work a little bit more. This will be the last class time that we're going to dedicate to solving for missing values in angles. Um, I found this worksheet and I think that I really like the setup because it breaks it down into what things you need to be paying attention to when you're solving for missing angles. So we're going to take these notes. I'm going to use read and write to help fill in what I need to write in here. Um, to solve for a missing value, we're going to complete the following steps. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to identify the types of angles we're given. Okay, that's really the first step. We have to decide, are we given complementary angles, supplementary angles, vertical angles, you know, what's the deal? What are we, what kind of information are we actually being given first? That's what we have to decide. Okay, the next thing that we're going to do is we are going to have to determine the relationship that the two angles have. Like, for example, are they congruent or are they supposed to add up to 90 degrees? Are they supposed to add up to 180 degrees? We have to decide. Finally, we're going to set up an equation and solve for the missing value. I feel like that's that's the harder part for a lot of you um, but I think that maybe having this structure like I said before that might make things a little bit easier okay so looking at this first example in our notes what types of angles are these now we're not talking about types like acute and obtuse and right and straight those are elementary school labels for these kinds. Remember seventh grade, we're learning about special names for angle pairs. These two angles together do make a right angle. Does anybody remember what that's called? Yeah, complementary, right. Complementary, okay. Complementary angles have a sum so this is the key information right here. They have a sum of 90 degrees. Now, if you want to know how to make that 90 degree, if you want to know how to make the 90 degree symbol, the symbol for degrees is um, control shift eight, I think. It might be command shift eight, depending on your Chromebook. And if that doesn't work, then just write the word degrees, okay? All right. So next, we have to write an equation. Well, if the sum, that means adding, if the sum is 90 degrees, that means I have to add these two amounts, and that has to equal 90. So x plus 20 equals 90. And how do I solve that? I subtract 20 from both sides, and I get x equals 70. And it's degrees, right? x is 70 degrees. Now I can go back and I can check my work, right? I can go look over here. If I put in 70 degrees right here, and then I add 20 degrees to it, do I get a 90 degree angle? And the answer is yes, I do. So I'm good. Okay, let's look at the next problem. Types of angles. What are the kinds of angles that are across each other 
when two lines make an X. Right, Muhammad? Those are called vertical. That's really good. Those are vertical angles. The key information about vertical angles is that vertical angles are congruent. Okay, they're congruent to each other. And what does congruent mean? Right, Alyssa, that means equal. So that means 2x plus 25 has to equal 50. I'm going to put that in there as my equation. 2x plus 25 equals 50. Now, if you remember when we were talking about solving these before, these are two-step equations. The first thing I have to do is get rid of this plus 25, because I really want to know just, I want to treat this 2x like it's the thing I don't know, all of it. So 2x plus 25 has to equal 50. Well, if I covered up the 2x, then that 2x is going to have to be worth 25, right? 25 plus 25 would equal 50. I'm going to subtract 25 from both sides, and that gives me 2x equals 50. And then I'm going to divide by 2. Remember, we do slash 2, slash 2. And that means that we're going to get x equals 25 degrees. Now, that took up more space than I expected, so I'm going to make this a smaller font so that it can fit right in there, okay? I know it's kind of hard to see, but that's a little bit better than it was before. Okay, we good? You're all set, James? Awesome. Okay, now let's look at these angles here. This angle, 60 degree angle right here, is right next to this angle over here. Yep, so they are adjacent. Yep, they're adjacent. They're right next to each other. This is the shared ray. And they make this straight angle right here. What kind of angles make straight angles when they're put together? supplementary, right? And they're also adjacent, right? So maybe we can put that they are right next to each other, but more importantly, what's true about supplementary angles? Their sum is 180 degrees. That's what's important about those. Okay. So now let's write an equation. Together, their sum, which means adding, has to make 180 degrees. So I get 60 plus 5x plus 5 equals 180. And again, I get the feeling this is going to come out too big. So I'm going to make that a little bit smaller, try to make sure it fits in the space. 60 plus 5x plus 5. I see some common, I see some like terms. The 5x is not a like, but the 60 and the 5 together make 65. So I combine those like terms, and again, I want to get that 5x by itself. So that means I have to make 65 into a zero pair. Yeah, that's right. Okay, good, Jack. I have to subtract 65 from both sides. And then I get 5x equals 180 minus 65. Anybody got it? Of course you do, Aubrey. 115. Right? And you can check that on a calculator. I'm okay with you using a calculator. 180 minus 65, right? 
okay, last step I have to do, divide by five on both sides. Divide by five. So I do that on my calculator and I get X equals 23 degrees. And it looks like maybe I might even need to go one smaller to fit that in there. Kind of annoying that there's not a combination of a little bit more room, but that's okay. All right, I got that to fit. Okay, last one. Who thinks they've got this last set? Do they add up to 90 degrees? Are they across from each other? Do they add up to 180 degrees? What is this information that they're giving me down here? What is this? This means the large angle has a sum of 50 degrees. Whoa, that didn't make anything. There we go. Okay. That's what that information is telling me. That large angle, X, Y, Z, has a total of 50 degrees. And this piece of information right here says the top angle is 2x. So it's not any of these names, but they are next to each other. And if you remember, next to means they are adjacent. And the important information that we're given here is exactly what I wrote over there. Their sum is 50 degrees. So that is not given because they're adjacent. That's given because it's a piece of information that's given in the image in this figure right here. So I didn't, I wouldn't just assume that. That has to be told to me. All right, so let's see who's got the equation here. Come on, Riley, you can do this one. 2x plus 30 has to equal how much, Eleanor? 50, right. And I need to get this 2x by itself. So I'm going to subtract 30. Right, John Kelly, you've got that. Minus 30. Minus 30. And I get 2x equals 20. And I have to divide by 2. Divide by 2. And I get x equals 10. And then we're done, except that this is too big and I have to make it a little smaller so it'll fit in there. Okay? So those are the examples, and now we're going to go and do some practice. This next page is your homework page. I'm going to be available for the rest of class if you have questions. Don't get freaked out by things like fractions. We've done things like that before. If you get stuck, make sure you ask me a question. You can at least get the equation out there. And if you're having trouble getting to solving the equations, because many of these are the two-step equations that I talked about before, then you can see me on Wednesday for some extra help. There's a long chunk of time in the middle of the day where you can check in with me and we can go through these. Okay, six problems, I think you've got this. Use this as your examples, right? All of these are your examples. And check in with me when you have questions. Bye now.